this is Scrapping Amy with Little Mommy Scrapping and welcome to Take Two Tuesday where I take my Facebook Live from Sunday, speed it up and narrate it for you. I am going to be using Something Fierce by Close to My Heart to scrapbook this picture of my daughter Elizabeth when she was a little baby. I don't exactly know how old she is. Before I get too much further, I just want to apologize. Facebook was being very strange and so it will get grainy at some point and um, we actually had to stop and restart again because it w it would not unfreeze so you'll you'll see when that happens but I'm going ahead and, and going through and showing the different papers that I have and I really love this dinosaur print because we struggled so much to find cute dinosaur stuff to put on Elizabeth as a girl everything was in the boy section like there were no pink dinosaurs and this one has pink dinosaurs you know, listening to their iPod and their roller skating and things like that. And that stegosaurus, that red stegosaurus there in the middle, I end up covering up. And it's the only time you see him roller skating. And I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm showing the sketch I was using on on uh, on my phone. That's why I pulled that up. I never printed it off. So I matted that dinosaur paper um, on the dark green. And now I'm trying to figure out what color to mat the picture of Elizabeth on. The, um, excuse me, not what color to mat her on, what color to make the large square in the back. And I ended up going with the blue because the yellow I felt made her look too yellow and I didn't like it. Now the sketch has this curved part at the top. I end up not using that at all. Um, I didn't really feel like cutting the circle out. <laughs> and I wanted those dinosaurs, see there I am pointing out that the stegosaurus um, was messed up and there's where we had some issues um, so I think we're all back now uh, but now I'm trying to figure out what to mat the um, photo of Elizabeth in and I've got the blue down and then it's the sketch calls for some strips across the top and um, for another square not square but another piece of paper in the middle so everything's kind of like lined up but you would give different widths on the edges which is really nice um, because then you it's not it, it gives a bit of movement to it so I've not done much of all at all um, actually I've done nothing with this collection this is the first time I've used it so I have all the paper and I decide I want to cut into it like I want to use this paper I have a strip of that green which I can't remember what it was on the back of. Oh, it was the back of the yellow. And I go ahead and map the top part. I'm going to kind of do like a little messy stack. I end up only using four sheets of paper. So I've got that green. I've got this white with thin gray um, jagged lines on it. I used the red, which I didn't want to use earlier because it made Elizabeth look too red. And then I have this polka dot, which has a bunch of the colors that has that are all throughout the collection and anytime I do a mat I like to include something that has all the colors I'm using in my stack of mats because I think it ties everything together so I actually pulled out some washi tape and I'm remembering to use it half the time I pull it out and then I forget so I'm using that for my strips across the top and this is eventually going to be where the title is going to go so I have the green, which is just generic washi, and then I have my favorite yellow chevron tape, and then some pink stripe tape. The pink and the yellow are both Bella Boulevard's paper tapes, and I love them. And then I have this sketchy um, print, and it does have dinosaurs on it, but it has words like cool and roar. It's got paper airplanes and clouds and sunglasses and sneakers and stuff all over it and I decided to put that up at the top too. That's what the title is going to go on. And then of course everybody in the chat's going give Tucker a treat so I went ahead and did that. <laughs> and then the photo goes down. Now I'm asking everybody what my title should be. I pulled out those little painted wood veneer things and those puffy circles and then completely forgot to use them. They got covered up by paper and in my life if it's out of sight it's out of mind there you go you just saw it get covered up they have this um journaling spot and i measure it to see what size i need but i go over and i grab my circle punch because there is no way i am fussy cutting that thing out uh-uh not no way not no how is not happening 
I do cut some of the rectangles out. I really like the dinosaurs keep right. And then I end up doing the amazing as well later on. And I have my embellishments when I break them up from their little packets, I sort them all by color. And so I pulled out a variety of my color boxes. I got these from Michaels or in one big case. And I'm just trying to find things that I think would go. And I pulled out that cloud paper clip, which I'm going to put on and then take off. And I pull out those three um, star glitter stars that are chipboard, the yellow papers, and I end up cutting out one that says day in the life. I pull out that red square and I end up not using it. And then I end up not using actually any red. And then I go through the pink and I'm pulling out, there's a tab there that says beautiful. And I pull out those stickers, which I think are from Amy Tan from old collection a long, long time ago. When I clip the cloud on, it goes right around the word roar, which I love. I thought it was perfect. Um, everybody in the chat, we finally come to a consensus. It's going to be called Cutosaurus, which fits perfectly across the top of the photo, except I have a cloud there. So I'm eventually going to have to pull that off. And I'm realizing that right now. I'm like, oh, spacing wise, this is not going to work. And I pull two of the little periods to put between or on either side of the A. Of course, I've got to clean up while I'm filming. <laughs> now it's where I'm trying to like, where can everything go? I don't know why, but inking uh, circular elements are my favorite because they just spin around. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm doing day in the life. And it is one that has a flag on the end, a little fishtail end. And where it's going to go, I cover it up. So, I mean, I just spent all that time carefully trimming around the fishtail and then you don't even see the fishtail. I'm trying to figure out where to put it because I want it to show up, but where I want it to go, it's going to go right on yellow. And I'm like, that's not going to work. There's that dinosaur's keep right. And then there's the detour or not, excuse me, not detour. Um, uh, the amazing arrow that will eventually get cut out. And I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, okay, I just need to get stuff attached because I've been doing this. I've had to stop. And so I don't actually know how long the video is. And I try to stay within the time limit of about an hour to do these Facebook lives. And same with the YouTube lives on Thursdays. So the dinosaurs keep right and the amazing um, elements all get put up on foam tape. And I decide that the beautiful one is going to go up at the top, but I need something else there. So I go ahead and cut out that hooray and I use the scallop and it just is enough to add a little bit of color. I mean, granted, you've got a whole bunch of dinosaurs, but it kind of grounds it, I guess. So it's, I don't know. I like how it looks. Now I've had these, um, watercolor hearts that I did and I realized that they actually would probably work well with this. So I start pulling them out because I've got pinks, I've got blues, I've got yellows, reds, all colors that really will match this layout. It adds a little, you know, handmade element to it. I mean, it's probably not the perfect thing to put in there. If I had um, thought about it ahead of time, I probably would have done something with uh, colored pencils because that tends to be what the background looks more like to me. But I kind of like how it turned out. I'm just adding them all in groups of three and I'm trying to balance out the colors. So like the one on the dinosaurs keep right sign. Um, it's a very yellow heart. So I made sure to put it on top of the blue and you'll see, I actually come back to that because I'm not pleased with the, the left side of that heart. You can't really see well. So I will be addressing that and now I'm pulling some stickers. So this little pink one at the bottom says meet cute. The one by the beautiful says keeper and then the one by the amazing sign says you make me happy. 
I'm going to be finishing this up and you saw me pick up my Nouveau so you know I am almost done. So the Nouveau drops I use on this are the Nouveau glitter drops. I use Yellow Bird, Sunlit Meadow, and Blue Lagoon. And I'm trying to decide at this point like what else can I add and here I pull out this palm frond and I'm fussy cutting on live Facebook live like really like People don't want to come see me cut fussy cut stuff and I seem to do that a lot though <laughs> but there aren't any embellishments that I purchased that went with this collection um, I just purchased the paper I should have gotten some of the embellishments but there I put that under um, the yellow heart so that way the yellow stands out a little bit more and there's a separation so I'm adding my Nouveau drops um, I'm gonna mess up one of these yellow ones when I go back to put the green in and put my hand in it so I have to redo it and right here and there we go so I just wiped it up with my finger and put it back down again you honestly can't see that I messed it up at all so close-up shots are coming up I hope you enjoyed this please join me on Facebook on uh, Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time uh, the link is down below and then if you want to stick with YouTube I am starting to do YouTube live on Thursdays. I've got somebody asking me about different colors of the, the drops. That's why I pulled out my swatch book. But I'm starting to do YouTube lives on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So I would love to have you here. Um, and I hope you guys all have a lovely day. Bye.